today's video we're going to talk about the five things that I hate about my C300. First off, I hate that I bought black. It's really hard to tell on camera. You might, I don't know if the sun hits it right, but it is really dirty. And every little, you know, dent and like everything stands out really bad. Uh, when it's clean, it looks great. So if you buy a black one, just know that you're going to have to clean it a lot. The next thing I hate the most would be these rims. The past owner apparently doesn't know how to drive because as you can see there's lots of curb rash. Um, and most factory Mercedes rims, unless you get the AMG package to me, just doesn't really complement the car that well. Um, and you're probably going to see these get changed in a later video, so uh, stay tuned to see that one. The third thing I hate the most is the stereotype or the way that people um, image you while you're driving a Mercedes. Um, everybody just has this expectation that it's really expensive and it's, it's really not. So the way um, people treat you or the way they look at you is um, different. And the thing is, I've owned lots of different cars. Um, I probably had 10 in the last couple years. And I've noticed the way people treat you is extremely different driving this car than anything else. I mean, I've had a Jaguar and um, lots of other just normal American cars and uh, this just really stands out from everything else and most of the time it's just unwanted attention that um, you have to you know look out for if you do buy one of these vehicles it sometimes is annoying but you uh, you have to put up with it and deal with it because that's what you wanted to drive the fourth thing that I hate is is more or less the interior not really the whole interior just specifically the dashboard um, the one I bought was an 08 um, I specifically bought this because it was a good deal um, I would much rather have the facelifted C-Class of this generation or the newest model C-Class it looks a lot more updated um, the speedo, speedo and everything over there actually don't look too bad it's minimal, minimal but still looks classy with the chrome bezels but the original owner of this car did not pick to get the navigation or which comes with the bigger monitor um it doesn't have the phone function so you end up with buttons that don't actually do anything and because this isn't a facelift model or the newer generation you still have a normal key slot which i would much prefer to have a uh, start button but uh, the difference in price point between this and the newer model really isn't worth it for that function, at least to me. Uh, but it is something that I do miss. And the fifth and final thing that I don't like, which this is more of a, just a nitpicky thing, is my original Mercedes that I had before, my CLK. I don't know if, if you're new to the channel, you probably haven't seen that video. You might want to go check it out. Um, that got totaled the electric seat buttons were on the door to me i'd much rather have them on the door it is easier to get to and um i don't have to reach my hand down in this little tight space between the door and the seat like i said this is more just a nitpicky thing that i prefer on my older mercedes um, i'm not really sure why they decided to change this but um you know it is what it is you live with it so thanks for watching the uh, video for the five things that I hate about my Mercedes Benz. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and maybe some of y'all hate some of the things that I hate or maybe you got a different Mercedes and there's some stuff that you hate about it. Please share it in the comments below. Like the video and subscribe if you haven't for more great content on the way and as always have a nice day. Peace.